Hey Joe, it's folks here. This print-on-demand store selling shirts is likely making over $9,000 in sales per month. Personally, I don't sell t-shirts. I sell higher profit print-on-demand items, but I know a lot of you are probably trying to sell shirts, so I wanted to show this store here and sort of break down exactly what they are doing. Not only is this store running lots of ads on Facebook and on Instagram, but they also have a very solid social media strategy to gain followers. They have over 144,000 followers followers here on their Instagram page. On their store, they're doing a great job at creating really great mock-ups to showcase their products like this. And they're also creating designs that people obviously like because the store is making sales. So I thought it would be cool to dive into their marketing strategies as well as do a simple tutorial to show you how to create awesome designs like what they have and also show you my favorite mock-up software so that way you can bring your store to life sort of like theirs. So first, let's break down the store. It is called House of Ch Chingasos.com. It is a niche based store, definitely selling to like a Mexican, Spanish, Hispanic culture type of thing. I think they've done an awesome job with what they have here. I'll just kind of scroll through the homepage here. You can see they have all these collection images that are sort of taking people to different design concepts. You can see they have a bunch of social proof down here. And then as you continue to scroll, they have some best selling products as well. You can see at the top of the store, they are giving free shipping on all orders over $75 which I do think is smart because they are selling t-shirts which are relatively low in profit. So in order to sort of protect themselves, they're encouraging people to spend over $75 on an order in order to get that free shipping. They have a very simple About Us page here with a little bit of a write-up. Some of it is in Spanish. I'm not sure what some of these words actually say, but nonetheless, they've created, like I said, a simple About Us page and it is clearly working for them. In terms of customer reviews, this store has over 6,000 reviews from customers, almost 7,000 actually. The way that I figured out they have probably about $9,000 in sales per month is because just here in the month of June, they have over 20 sales. And if you're doing math on that, you could assume that they've actually got only 10% of customers to leave reviews, which means they likely have about 200 sales in the month of June. If you look at the pricing of some of their products, you can see they're averaging about $30 per shirt that is sold. They do have some other products on their store as well. If you assume their average order value is about $45. That would mean with 200 sales, they have about $9,000 in sales so far this month. And even if that number is off, they are definitely doing pretty well because like I said, they have 20 customer reviews just in the first 18 days of June. Here is one of their product pages here. They have a very simple page. They do have some great product images. It looks like they are using Placeit, which I will talk about in a little bit. I'll also do a tutorial to show you how you can use Placeit to create mockups just like that. These mockups that you're seeing here on their product page, are actually from place it and it's clearly working for them so like I said I'll do a little tutorial to show you how to create stuff like that for your store they've also got a lot of social proof here on the page as well which again are customer photos that people are submitting ultimately I would assume that this is definitely helping them to make more sales because when people land here they are trusting the brand even more if you're just getting started with Shopify or print on demand in general and you need help choosing a niche or actually building out a Shopify store or even getting started with social media marketing, I do have a free course. It's called POD for Dummies. There is a link down in the description. Inside, you will get access to over 30 step-by-step -step videos showing you how to start your store. Before I show you what this store is doing from like a paid ads perspective, I want to show you some of the free marketing strategies they are using to grow their page to over 144,000 followers. You can see they are set up on Instagram here. Their name of their account is the same thing as their store. They've posted just over 2,000 times inside of their bio they say they are a Latino streetwear brand. They also have a link to their store as well. They've also got some highlights up at the top here. It basically looks like some customer submitted photos that they have pinned to the highlight section of their account. In terms of content, they are keeping it very simple. They are definitely playing up the humor element. You can see as we scroll through here, they are posting lots of different memes. This is likely how they've grown their account to such a level. What they're also doing is stuff like this here. They have a product photo. They are promoting this directly to their audience. You can see in their caption here, it says available now in the Mother's Day collection. As we scroll through their feed, we can see a few other product promotional posts as well. They're even promoting some shoes over here, another t-shirt down here. Looks like they also have a tote bag collection as well. And ultimately, if you are trying to get started on social media, this free marketing strategy is the foundation of what you should be doing. Every single print on demand store that I run has a solid organic content strategy 
because once you grow to a high level of followers, you can do what this store is doing and begin promoting products to your followers for free. In terms of the store's Facebook page, it's basically the same story. They do have a little bit more of a follower base here. You can see they have over 200,000 followers. Up here in the cover photo, they have some more place it mock-ups with their logo over it. Here in their bio section, it says that they are a Latino, 100% American thread company. They've also got a link to their store as well as a customer support email. In terms of what they're posting here, it's basically the same type of stuff that we saw on their Instagram page, different humor related things. They're also doing some different product promotion posts like this here. And you can see that they do get a decent amount of engagement here on their Facebook page. They have hundreds of likes, tons of different comments on their posts. And ultimately, again, they are taking full advantage of organic traffic to their store in order to make sales. This store is also running a lot of different ads. We can tell that if we go to their page and click on the about section from here, if we scroll down and click on page transparency, you will see that when this loads, it will say this page is currently running ads. From here, if we click the see all button, we can then click go to ads library and we can actually view all of the ads that this page is running. Here are some examples here and it's basically the same story. We have place it mockups being used as their ad creatives as well. Here is one of their ads right now that they are running. It's basically a 4th of July theme design. You can see the very simple mockup clearly showing the design. This is again a mockup from place it. This ad is running on both Facebook and on Instagram. They have multiple versions of the ad, basically different creatives that they're inserting into it. And like I said, ultimately, this is a very solid strategy from them. This is exactly what I teach about inside of my free POD for Dummies course. And they are likely making a decent amount of sales from their ads as well. Before I do a design tutorial with you and before I show you how to get some great mockups for your store, I sort of wanted to break down why I think this store is winning. First things first, they have chosen a solid niche. They are appealing to a demographic that is passionate about where they are from. They are creating designs that really represent that demographic and ultimately that is a winning combination. They've also kept things very simple here on the store. They also have some great product images. This banner up here as well as all of these collection images are awesome. This mock-up right here again is a place it mock-up but it looks great on their store. This is the page on place it where you can get that mock-up from. They are doing a great job with their social media strategy as well both in terms of organic and with the paid ads that they are running. The biggest thing that I could say is that this store feels like it is alive. It doesn't feel like a generic store. It doesn't feel like it's going out of business. It has great imagery, great designs, and ultimately they are doing very well. And like I said, if you wanted to get started building your own store, I do have a free course down in the description. Now for our design tutorial today, I want to just reference this design again right here. They have done a great job at creating a very simple but unique design. I recently made this video here on my channel talking about some of the biggest design mistakes that I see people make. So definitely check that out. What I want to do is show you how by using Kittle, you can create stuff like this for your store. What I'm going to do is demonstrate how in Kittle, in a few minutes, I can create a very simple but effective print on demand design. We are going to be using a 4th of July theme here. If you want to get 25% off a Kittle plan, you can use code JoeRobertYT. I'll also put a link down in the description. This design here is something I made in just a few minutes. As I'm making this video, it is almost the 4th of July, so I decided to go with a 4th of July theme. You can see we have an eagle on this, we have a couple of USA elements, and then some text down at the bottom. To start your design, we're going to select the POD presets right here. We're then going to scroll down and select the Printify t-shirt. And the first thing we're going to do is we're going to use Kittle's AI generator to get ourselves something in the focal point of the image. That's kind of what this store has done here. Obviously, I don't know if they're using Kittle to do this, but we are going to create something using this same sort of style. With the Kittle AI, you can enter in a prompt here. What I find is trying to be overly specific typically will yield a poor result. So I do like to be a little bit specific, but at the same time, a little bit broad as well. What I'm going to type here is just a patriotic eagle face with a USA flag inside of it. And we will see what comes up. From here, you can choose a style. For us, I am going to choose this vector vintage drawing style. And then I'm going to click on generate image. And this here is what the Kittle AI came up with. I do think this actually looks pretty good and it kind of fits with what we're going for in the sense that this is just a black t-shirt with all white graphical elements on it. Here inside of Kittle, I can select this. I can then over here in the right hand side, choose any color to make this graphic. I am ultimately going to turn this white, but I am going to wait to do that because if I turn it white now, then we're not gonna be able to see it. What we're then going to do is zoom
zoom out a little bit on our actual design file and make this eagle just a little bit bigger so it can be sort of the focal point of our image. You can see if I hover right around the center here, we do get this guideline to show up. If we wanna have it perfectly centered, we can drag it down a little bit more. For the sake of this design that we are making, I am going to slide this up just a little bit to leave room for our text. Obviously, if you wanted to play around with the AI and get a few different versions of your AI image here in the middle of the design, you definitely could. For text, I'm just going to click the text tool over here. We could just click add headline. We could get a block of text like this and we could just sort of do it manually. We could type whatever we want in here. We could change the font. We could change the size. We could add some transformations as well. However, I think that Kittle has some great text templates that we can use and edit to have whatever text that we'd like. For the sake of this, I am going to select this template right here and you will see that the text loads into our image. I am then going to just drag it down a little bit. I'm also going to make it a little bit larger. Now we'll need to just reposition it right here into the center like so. It's actually not quite centered so I'm going to slide it a little bit to the right there and we'll see that guideline actually pop up. For the sake of this design we do want to fill the majority of our template here so that way when it does go on to a shirt it kind of covers the entire thing and doesn't look too small. Because this is a 4th of July themed design we want this text here to sort of represent something about patriotism, something about America. One really cool tool that Kittle has is an AI quote generator that we can actually use to generate quotes for our designs. On this screen here, you can just pick a niche from their list or you can type your own niche in down here. So I'm just gonna type in patriotic and click continue. I'm going to leave funny as the selection here. If you wanted to choose something else, you could. And you can also choose a length in terms of the words that you want the actual quote to be. For this example, I'm just gonna select five to eight words and click on generate quotes. You can see here that we now have 12 different quotes that have been generated for us. If you wanted to redo it, you could, or if you wanted to use something here, you'd be able to use these in your design. I, however, have seen a lot of 4th of July designs that have a funny play on the US being back-to-back -back World War champs, so that's what I'm going to enter here in this text. Up top, I'm just going to double-click this. I'm going to change this to since 1776, because that is the year that the USA was first founded. I'm then going to select the word blacksmith and change this text to back to back. You can see that the text is now way off of the design. If I just click off of this, it will snap back to size. I'm then going to select the word brewery and change this to world. I'm then going to select the word Ottawa and change this to champs. We now have a design that has an eagle in the foreground. It says since 1776, it says back to back world champs. And now we're going to add in a few other elements. Over here on the left hand side, you can select elements. You can click through a couple of different options in here. I'm going to select illustrations and I'm going to type in USA. You can see that we now have a lot of different elements that are sort of representing the USA. I'm going to go through here and just select a few and place them into the design. What I now want to do is sort of bring the design to life a little bit. Then we'll edit some of the colors of this to make sure that everything is uniform. What I'm going to do is select the back-to-back -back text right here. So that way I can sort of add a little bit of an effect to it. What we're going to do is we're going to come up here and select effects. And then going to click on this shadow effect right here. We're now going to grab the Statue of Liberty over here and we're going to turn this black so that way it matches the rest of the actual design. And from here we have a relatively simple design that has some good effects on the text as well as some good graphical elements inside of it. To actually download this design and get it onto your computer you would just click download up at the top right. What I usually like to do is make sure that I'm selecting the PNG file so that way I have a transparent background around this. I also always click remove background and optimize quality and then click the download button. And again, like I said, if you wanted to get 25% off your own Kittle Pro account, you could use code JoeRobertYT and it would get you 25% off all of their plans. Placeit is the next tool that we are going to use. This mock-up here is one of the ones that the store we are looking at today is using on their store. Up in the search, up at the top, I'm just going to type in the words USA. I'm then going to click enter to see all of the different mock-ups that are available with a USA theme. If you did want to get a Placeit account, I do have a 15% off link 
link. I'll also put that down in the description. Inside of their software, you have access to quite literally hundreds of different mock-ups, not just for t-shirts, for lots of other products as well. For the sake of this video, obviously we have created a t-shirt design, so that's what we're gonna be making a mock-up for. Instead of typing USA, I have now typed soldier, and we can see a few other options showing up for us here in the search results. I am going to select this one right here. Once you select a mock-up, you will see some other similar mock-ups that you could choose from as well. On the left-hand side, you can change the shirt color to match what you are trying to do. However, because we created a design that is all black, we are going to leave it as a white shirt. You can see here I have the old design that I had as an example before we created one together selected. If we wanted to upload a new design, we would just click on design right here and then upload from your device. This would allow you to select a design file from your computer to create a mock-up for your store. Once you get the design file in there, you can change the size of it. You can also reposition down in the bottom right, you will see a live preview of it. I think leaving it right there looks pretty good. And again, that's exactly what this store is doing here. This is a Placeit mock-up. This banner image here, I'm not sure if it was created with Placeit, but I know that Placeit does have a lot of group photo options as well. Inside of Placeit's filters, I selected group mock-ups and we can see lots of different group mock-ups here that look kind of similar to that mock-up that they have on the store that we are looking at today. Again, I'm not sure exactly which one they are using, but these guys here look very similar to the ones here on their store. And this here is the finished product of us actually creating the mock-up. On the right-hand side, again, you can see some related mock-ups. We could click those to see them with our design. We would wanna follow the same process again by uploading one of our design files into this actual mock-up. I'll go ahead and select it. We can then position it as we'd like. We can change the sizing to make it a little bit larger and go ahead and click on crop. And again, there we have our design on another mock-up. From here, if you have a paid plan, you would be able to download the mock-up without a watermark on it. You can do that by clicking the purple download button right here on the top right. You would then be able to go to town and create lots of really great product images like what you are seeing on this store here. Basically, all of these mock-ups that they are using, I believe, have come from Placeit, which is ultimately, like I said, making their store feel like it has come alive. Personally, I don't sell shirts. I like to sell products that are a little bit higher in profit. You can see here in Placeit's menu, they do have some different legging ones, some hoodie ones, some home goods as well. And ultimately, whatever you're selling, they likely have a mock-up for you. Placeit also has a lot of really awesome videos that you can create. You could use these on social media. You could put your design on a mock-up like this and promote products for the 4th of July or whatever time of year that you were actually selling for. And like I said, if you wanted to get 15% off your own Placeit account, there will be a link down in the pinned comment of this video. That code will work for both the monthly and the annual versions of Placeit. So like I said, I don't personally sell t-shirts like this store is currently doing. They do have some other things like shoes that are definitely high in profit. You can see a few of their designs on here. This is a print on demand item that I have made videos about in the past. You can get these from the Printify app. And ultimately I wanted to make a video showing you how if you did want to sell shirts, you could do some of the things that this store is doing in terms of their designs, in terms of their mock-ups, in terms of their social media strategy in order to make a decent amount of sales. So let me know what you guys think down in the comments below. Do you think that this store is cool? Are you currently trying to create anything like this? Or do you have any questions about what I have talked about in this video today? If you do, please let me know down in the comments below. Thank you for watching and I will see you in the next video.